ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ನ ನಿರುದ್ಧಂ ನ ನಿರುದ್ಧಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ತಥಾಪಿ ನಿರುದ್ಯಮಾನ ಕಿಮಜಾತಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ನ ನಿರುದಂ ನ ನಿರುದಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ತಥಾ ನಿರುದ್ಯಮಾನ ಕಿಮಜಾತಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ MMK chapter 7 verse 26 The not yet ceased is not ceased the already ceased is not ceased and the now being ceased likewise is not ceased how is the not yet begotten ceased so the uh, the first three padders are sort of uh, almost lulling it, lulling us into a false sense of certainty because we we're familiar with their uh, the pattern from chapter 2 when we had gamyamanam the now being visited the parallel expression is nirudyamanam the now being ceased so uh, just as the uh, the not yet visited is not visited which is uh, agatam na gamyate we've got ni na na ni so anirudam na nirudyate the not ceased is not ceased the not yet ceased is not ceased so uh, for the to have eight syllables in the pad in the padda the na and the anirudam are joined in sandhi the na anirudam with a long a so it's important that the a is long otherwise it sounds like na nirudam which means uh, the ceased is not but this is the not ceased is not so na nirudam so you, just from the point of view of reciting sanskrit or listening to it whether the a is short or long is totally vital so the, the first pada is nirudyate na nirudam and the second pada na nirudam nirudyate so it's exactly the same except for the na nirudam is long in the first pada and na nirudam the na is short in the second pada so word by word the not yet ceased anirudam is not na ceased nirudyate but changing the order nirudyate na nirudam the not yet ceased is not ceased and we understand it because the not yet visited agatam is not visited na gamyate in the second pada the already ceased nirudam is not na nirudyate ceased so the already ceased is not ceased na nirudam nirudyate in the same way na gatam gamyate the already visited is not visited and the now being ceased nirudyamanam likewise tata and cha so and cha the now being ceased nirudyamanam likewise tata in square brackets is not ceased so we understand we understand understand nirudyate in the same way we say gamyamanam say tata gamyamanam na gamyate the now being visited is not visited so because if the now being visited were visited that would be separating what is one unitary happening into two separate things we already covered it in detail in chapter 2 so then from our sort of place of certainty we think we know what he's talking about he asks kim ajatam nirudyate how is the not yet begotten ceased so we got it's not ceased it's not ceased this is not ceased that is not ceased and that is not ceased in the fourth pada 
How is that not ceased? Kimajata nirudyate. How is the not yet begotten ceased? So on the surface, if we don't bother looking into it deeply, it's uh, it's just a rhetorical question. The not yet ceased is not ceased. The already ceased is not ceased. And even the now being ceased is not ceased. So, of course, the not yet begotten is not ceased. That's obvious, isn't it? Let's see how Sidereus and Katsura handled it. Let's see if they fell into a Nagarjuna's trap. Now they just wrote, the argument here is exactly as in verse 22. The question they ask is, what un what unarisen thing is there that is undergoing cessation? What unarisen thing is there that is undergoing cessation? Okay, let's go back to verse 22 and see what the argument they made. I bet it's an, an ontological one. Okay, it's too long, I'm not going to bother with it. But when we ask, when we, again, I think maybe it's not a rhetorical question. So Kim is a question word. Ajatam means not born. So Jata means born or begotten or engendered. So Ajatam, not born. So Kim is asking the question, it could be, is the unborn, Nirudyate, ceased? Or how is the unborn ceased? How is the not yet begotten ceased? Okay, so again, on the face of it, it's bloody obvious. What hasn't been born can't be ceased. If you're kind of thinking logically, ontologically. But if you're thinking about practice, whether you're talking about practice of the Alexander technique or Zen practice, what's the most important thing is not to do shōaku makusa in Chinese characters pronounced in Japanese shōaku makusa not doing evils uh, I forget the Pali saba saba uh, saba tap, papasa all evils uh, not doing can't remember the Pali offhand but it's, a, it's the first teaching of the Buddha when he established, when I say when he established, that's, establishment is, a, is a, a red flag, I'm trying to avoid that word. When the Buddha started teaching, when the Buddha started teaching uh, followers, practically the first thing he said, as recorded in the Pali Sutras, is, is the not doing of evils, the practice of, of what is good, purifying one's own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. So with that kind of, in light of that practical teaching, the most vital thing is how is evils, how to stop evils before they're even born. And that relates, I think, to the dependent arising of suffering. So it's within, within the, uh, the, 12, the 12 links in the dependent arising of suffering. I think three of them are counted as, act, as actions. So uh, ignorance is not an action, but samskaras are actions of body, mouth and mind. And psychophysicality, so divided consciousness, psychophysicality, uh, six senses, contact, thirsting, then upadana, clinging. That can be that's a kind of action sometimes. Uh, clinging, grasping, then from upadana, uh, bhava. Becoming, that's also a kind of action, if it can be. Uh, and then from bhava, uh, jati, birth, from birth, all the various sufferings of ageing and death. So I suppose that 
if I remember rightly, that then the three that are, that are actions are samskara, upadana, and bhava. Uh, so how can those, before they're even begotten, how can they be ceased? Well, by ceasing ignorance, because if there's no ignorance, there's n there's no sam there's no samskaras born of ignorance. Uh, or in fact, by breaking the link, by break, breaking any of the links, so tasya tasya nirodena tatanabi pravartate. By the destruction, by the cessation of this one and that one, that one, this one and that one, tatan nabi pravartate, do not advance. Dukkha skanda. The whole aggregate of suffering in this way is completely destroyed. So how is the not yet begotten ceased? Well, the answer might be Utpadastiti Banga by going up, by staying still, by going up and staying still as the truth of cessation, Banga. How is the not yet begotten ceased? The answer might be, the true answer might be, I don't know. We don't know. But what we can be sure of is academic philosophers who uh, translate this verse only on the bait as if what mattered was ontology. That is not how the not yet begotten is ceased. The not yet begotten is ceased by looking into Pratitya Samutpadam, the teaching of dependent arising, which is in the middle way between two ontological views. It's something to be practiced in the middle way, in that area of not knowing, of exploration, of emptiness, which is in the middle between the two areas that Jay Garfield knows very well, existence and non-existence. It's easy, once, once, once you've got the basic point, it's easy to understand that it's, it existness is one wrong view and it doesn't existness is the other wrong view. But I'm suggesting that with these questions that seem like rhetorical questions based on, which can be understood based on understanding of those two views, they're more truly understood by a Zazen practitioner, not as rhetorical questions, but as exhortations or invitations to keep looking more deeply into uh, Niroda Satya, the truth of cessation, which is not something to be understood intellectually, it's, it's something to be put into practice. So I've made a note here thinking about it, you see. Be still, be still and know that I am God. I was, I've been struck over the last few days by the resonance of, of that teaching in the Old Testament with what Nagarjuna is saying here. And I, I looked at myself because, uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I think yes, yesterday, I felt very, very quiet. Uh, Reflecting on, on those words, be still, is a reminder, you know, that's what it's all about, to be still, stiti, to cease striving in one translation that we looked at yesterday. And then, uh, so then what, what happens? You have a good experience like that, and of course you turn it into something. This is something that happens in Alexander work. You, you have a good Alexander lesson, you can be sure the next lesson you have is going to be rubbish. 
because you want to get your dirty paws and whatever it was that was good. Actually, what was good was that you let go of something. But then having let go of something and experienced something good, then of course you want to get your dirty paws on it. So that I noticed that tendency myself. It's like, oh yeah, I, I'm onto something here with the, with the be still business, being still. The back, it's part of the backward step. So you, you feel like getting up in the morning, you know, let, let, let's explore that, let, let, let's practice that. And what you realise is that you're actually, you, you've just been indulging in prapancha turning stillness into something and then uh, under the guise of exploring it you really want to get your dirty paws on, on something and nail it down and, and uh, sort of turn it into your own possession so how is striving ceased that kind of striving that kind of prapancha that's the question how is that ceased even before it's been born even before it's con been conceived, even before it started to develop. So again, in, in Fukanza Zengi, there's a phrase, Gochus, Gochini Sayarada. The Buddhist patriarchs just sat, Tada, Tada, Stomete. Only just Taza sitting, Stomete. They employed, they practiced Taza. Tada, taza o tsutomete, gotsu chini sayareru, gotchini sayareru. They were restricted, they were called sayareru, passive. They were hindered. Gotsu chi, gotsu means still, chi state. They were grabbed, they were caught by stillness. So, how were they grabbed by stillness? Not by trying to grab it. Not by trying to get their dirty paws on stillness. They just sat without any agenda, without any drashta vyopashamam, as the cessation of the to be seen, as, as the cessation of striving or, or, or grasping. It's like, again, Marjorie Barlow, after 70 years in the Alexander work, she says, I put my, my hands on a pupil and think of doing nothing. So that means like having no agenda. Prapanchopashama, the cessation of turning anything into anything. The people who understand have that outlook. Rather than trying to gain something or achieve something they talk of allowing uh, think of doing nothing and then Marge, and then I ask myself what kind of nothing am I doing that again it's related with sarva drishti prahanaya going in the direction of abandoning all views because people who, who've had many experience much ex many years of experience in that kind of work that, that they uh, they understand a, a bit about how we lie to ourselves how a gap opens up between what we practice and what we preach so we preach having no agenda and if we're not careful we, we kid ourselves we haven't got an agenda when we do have an agenda Kimajatam nirudyate. How is the not yet begotten ceased? The truth of it is, I don't know. But probably deep down inside, I, sus I, I kind of really think that I do know. And maybe that's what prevents the not yet begotten from truly being ceased. That little bit of human arrogance and you know to think to think to think that one is godlike in one's understanding so again that brings me back 
to, to the profound meaning that's in that teaching in the Old Testament. Be still and know that I am God. It's stop trying to do what it's human beings are not designed to do. Uh, how to sit upright in balance. If we think we know how to do that, you see, we're deluding ourselves. Like Walter Carrington said in relation to, I think it was Walter Carrington said in relation to breathing. As Alexander teaches, you don't know how to breathe. You're not an expert on breathing. If you think you know how to breathe, well, you're making yourself like a little god. That's not human. That's not our human within our human scope of possibility to know how to breathe. As an Alexander Technique teacher, what you really know about is the things that get in the way of free breathing. So again, it's, it's, it's like our job is to target the things that get in the way of breathing. And you can do that, you can do that positively by saying, I wish to be aware of my whole body, instead of having kind of bitter anatomical knowledge about the diaphragm and the the atlanta occipital joint and the, you know the lungs and the, the, the blood vessels instead of having that bitty analyzed academic type knowledge of physiology and biochemistry and all that stuff more holistic the awareness of the whole self awareness of the whole body but that isn't that isn't awareness of how it all works. That's just like a, a preventative awareness to stop you thinking about things partially. So again, how is the not yet begotten ceased? Well, sabakaya pati samvedi by being aware of the whole thing with reflective awareness. But then going beyond that. Asambayam kaya sankaran asasi sami tisikati. One trains oneself with the thought, allowing the samskara of a body to cease, I will breathe in. So it's a kind of, I suppose, what I'm trying to say, there's a, hu a humility is necessary there. It's a humility that's. Uh, in which there is not clever me knowing how to do it. You know, so be still and know that I am God includes, I think, cease striving, cease uh, thinking you're so clever. So one of the translations we, we looked at yesterday was be in awe. I think that, that, that meaning is included. Sink, the original Hebrew word was sink or relax. Kind of means give up again so we're back to the backward step the backward step of turning life and letting it shine but i know from alexander work and from zazen that the the place to retreat to there's always another place behind it, it, it it's it, it, there, there isn't a it's not a backward step to an inner sanctum where you think, ah, I finally arrived now. Uh, that's how I understand this question. How is the not yet begotten ceased? I don't know, but I suspect the answer is further back than I'm prone to think it would be. Nirudyate na nirudam na nirudam nirudyate tata nirudyamanam cha kimajatam nirudyate. The not yet ceased is not ceased. The already ceased is not ceased. And the now being ceased likewise is not ceased. How is the not yet begotten ceased?
ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ನ ನಿರುದ್ಧಂ ನ ನಿರುದ್ಧಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ ತಥಾಪಿ ನಿರುದ್ಯಮಾನಂ ಕಿಮಜಾತಂ ನಿರುದ್ಯತೆ